Take a look at this place. Isn't that beautiful? Every year they have different flowers and stuff hanging out on that. This is Volite. Kavalavan. Very nice old folks. They were gonna stop it in that beautiful. This is Gadarlea. I thought my apartment was like on the on this actual street, but it's not. It's on the uh, the one that borders it right next to it. And there's supposedly a uh, Koyeto. I don't know. There's supposedly a Nargilla bar down here, but I don't know exactly which one and where it is. But it's not very busy today. A friend of mine opened one, but I don't know where it is. I don't know. I'll have to look on the map or something. But Sagarli is the just a rock line cobblestone street. Lots of different cafes and stuff. But today, being, uh, what time is it? Almost six o'clock on a Friday. Literally nobody. And this here is like one of my favorite places. The Three Hats. Three Shashira. Shashira? They always have live music, great food. It's a kind of a pricey place. One of the most pricey here in Serbia. But anyway, I always thought this place is cool. They just have a mural for windows and stuff on the front of it, painted. Anyway, I'm gonna try to find this Nargilla bar and a nightclub in there. Try to find this Nargilla bar. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna smoke and figure out my plan and then I'm gonna meet one of my buddies later tonight and Sutra. So that's what's going on here. Beautiful outside and not a lot of people. So you look at the building still. <laughs> Isn't that cool? The whole way down They've got that on the outside of it. I haven't been down here for a bit, so it's nice to, every time you come to Belgrade and Serbian towns in general, there's lots of different things going on. Uh, you've got lots of construction, lots of different buildings, always a new restaurant in a, in a shop, uh, or in one of the Kakosikaje local, that's what they call like a, office space. This is one of my favorite places to eat. Me and one of my good friends eat in there about every time I come here. It's fancy. I don't think it's all that pricey, but anyway, this looks new right over here. Different than it used to. And as I stated earlier, it looks like they're doing like a ton of renovation. What's this remind you of? What's that thing in um, ah the middle of Sarajevo? It looks just like that. I forget even what they call that in Sarajevo. Anyway, this is this whole street. There's a piazza. One of my friends owned a kafana on the other side of that. Uh, used to own one over there. But man, the whole street's ripped up. I'm going to tell them what they're doing here. Right at the end of Spidatalia. And now, bad thing, I don't have data. I've got a Serbian phone, but I don't have data plan on it. So I gotta find a place and figure out where my Nargilla is. Okay, this is where I went before I went home. One of my favorite places in Belgrade for Cheva. I got this one. It's in peace. That's big, but yet we go. I go with my bear. Okay, my friends. We are getting ready to unwrap. I've already unwrapped it, but man. This is Serbia. Look at this thing, man. Ten pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oop, I miscounted. Anyway, there's ten. Luke Pavlika. Uh, you want to look closer? Let's go closer. Wanna? Closer is better. But this is it. Oh. God, doesn't that look good? 10 pieces. I'm getting fatter by the minute, but I don't care. It's got cabbage, luke, uh, onion, uh, pavlika on it. Oof, this is heaven, my friends. And look at that. <laughs> mm. I gotta eat.
this is where Chedo, Chedomir uh, Jovanovich lives. Okay, check out my breakfast here at Velika, Velika Skadarlia. I told you this place yesterday, I showed it, I walked by, I've eaten here a couple times and I just love it. It's really awesome. The waiter in here, his name is Milos. I sat down, he says, I know you from YouTube. Real nice guy. I said, hey, just bring me whatever you think is best for breakfast. And look at that. Beautiful omelet, sear, prosciutto. He said, you can only find these here. Uh, it's got white onion, uh, butter, sea salt on them, proya. <laughs> Good breakfast. Well, dobro you throw, my friends. I am in Turk Republic here. Turk Republic means Republic Square here in Belgrade. And it is currently just right about 8 o'clock in the morning. A little bit overcast today. There's the Opera House or Kakasakashi Big Belgrade Theater. Uh, and this is Turk Republic. It was bit, it's been under renovation since I have not I've not been walking on it. Uh, since it's been under renovation. I think last time I was in a video, it was actually right over there because they had this all walled off. But anyway, this is what it looks like now. Uh, they even redid the road uh, out there. And this place used to have little fountains on it and uh, like more trees and things like that. Now it's like big, just a big open area. Uh, and here in Serbia, so many times I'll say at Kod Kon, which means at the horse. And that's what they call it. It's actually Knez Milos is who's on there. Uh, but people say, meet me at the horse. Uh, they used to say, meet me at the clock. The clock's no longer there. There was a clock like right here, but it's gone. Uh, but this is like really the heart of Belgrade. Uh, but this is what it looks like now. Just a big open area. They've got a big thing to, that's World War II. Uh, we just recently had the victory day and so they've got a lot of little things out here this is what they also do out on on Calamagdan so that's what I'm gonna go to next but anyway they've got this nice little thing set up out here anyway I don't like it as much you know you've got benches and stuff over there with some a few trees but this whole area is just big big parking lot out here is what it looks like it's not all that pretty Nineteen forty-four, got in uh, but I don't know. That's a look at the city. I'm gonna go to one of the prettiest little streets here in Serbia. Uh, it's a t not really a street. It's like a little path right next to this beautiful church out on the fortress of Kalamagdan. It's called Sveta Petka Tsarkva. Oh man, it's pretty. I have a picture of myself. Everybody said it looks photoshopped, but it, it's not photoshopped. I took it with my really expensive Nikon camera that I had a long time ago. But I'm gonna go down there, have me a Starbucks coffee, cause it's big, and I can walk around and drink it for a little bit. And I'll show you some more of Belgrade. Ciao. There's an up close of what they're doing to the horse statue. I don't know what they're doing actually. I'm gonna look at the front. We should look at the they got it all wrapped in this green thing. Should say, ah, predmet ukovora, ukovora. And there's no. I'm just talking about who's going to be doing it. Can't wait to see what they're doing to it, though. Maybe they're just cleaning it. I never noticed that it had any major deformities or <laughs> anything. And this is always under construction too, but. Not now. This is open to the public, but for the last like few years, they just had like a fake facade on there. And this is Nerodny Museum, the People's Museum. Beautiful. Redid the whole front of it. Okay, now I'm walking down Kinez Mahalava. This is like the main drag, if you will, the main walking street here in Belgrade. I love the lights flowers in each of them and this is typically just packed with different people every single day every single night it's usually like filled this old dude's doing 
Something nice, huh? Feeding the birds. Just a pretty street. Love the architecture down through here too. Just the the whole atmosphere of busy, packed street with people outside is just awesome. You can't beat it. I think it's gonna rain. I hope it doesn't. It's a little bit chilly. I got like a long sleeve shirt on and shorts. But I think later today it's supposed to warm up. I'm going like to the best burger place in all of uh, all of Belgrade tonight. Can't remember the name of it, but I'll show you later. See, the city crew does such a good job with flowers and plants. I mean, there's no weeds in them either, you know? They do such a good job here in Serbia. And they have lots of people doing it. You know, something uh, I didn't mention uh, before, but even like uh, the road crews here in Serbia, you know, like along the road, people that mow uh, the ditches and the median and things like that, a lot of times they're doing it by hand. Just yesterday, they was all these guys were out there raking up grass they've cut, you know? So... A lot of manual labor, but they do a really good job. And I can see it as, it's a good thing, I guess. You know, you're giving jobs to people rather than giving it to a machine. But here's, you've got, uh, as I said, with almost every other Serbian city, all these outdoor cafes and every little branch off here in uh, Kinez Mahalova, all the little side streets, you can see that. That's all outdoor cafes. Here, all outdoor cafes. I mean, they're just all over. Beautiful architecture, too. Gotta love the city. See, I hate to do it. I hate to support big mega companies, but, but I have to go to Starbucks. I always go to Starbucks and McDonald's for coffee because it's actually a decent size you can walk around and carry. I don't even know if they're open. God dang it, I hope they are. We'll see. Do you want me to back? Is it? 